Hey there, it's Clay. And uh, today I'm out for a little bit of a walk. We're coming up on the holiday season right now. And this is an important time because there are some things that, that do change in this whole process of breakups and relationships and all of that. Talked about this before on this channel in previous years, but you know we're going to get into some some really important stuff here. We're going to get into the whole holiday expectation effect. We'll talk about rebound relationships. We'll talk about um, all sorts of other things. But first of all, there is this whole mentality that a lot of people have this time of year that we are calling the holiday expectation effect. Regardless of whether or not you are Christian or celebrate Christmas or anything like that, in the United States and many other Western countries, you know, Canada, Australia. Uh, United Kingdom, Europe, etc. Christmas does have a very big sway on most people culturally, even if you don't celebrate it, even if you have some other religion. Um, you know, it just has this sort of gravitational pull that, that takes a lot of people in. You know, many of us grew up celebrating Christmas. Um, again, whether it was like the whole real deal, whether our family was like, you know, really into it religiously, whether it was just a time for, you know, getting gifts underneath the Christmas tree or whatever, you know, many of us were experiencing that. With that, as well as society, TV, all of these movies and all that sort of stuff, we often have these ideas about what the holiday season is supposed to be like. We have this idea that it's supposed to be this time where we're surrounded by loved ones and everything is perfect and we have this great partner with us to share this time of year with. We can cuddle up next to the fire with hot cocoa and marshmallows and all of that stuff. You know, it's a time when Christmas miracles happen. It's a time when love gets the best of us and all of our small pettiness melts away. It's a time when all of these wonderful things are supposed to happen. We want to be careful about this because this is setting a lot of people up for not the greatest mindset when it comes to this whole time of year. The whole dynamics of everything that you should be doing and focusing on, they're the same. You know, still focus on the emotional connection, all of that stuff that I've mentioned in, you know, many, many other videos. Um, it's just many times people's expectations can cause them to do things that they otherwise wouldn't normally do or otherwise wouldn't be in their best interest. Take, for example, you know, getting your ex a gift. Should you do it? Now, you know, we've made other videos on this and we've talked about it, you know, like when it's your ex's birthday or when it's, you know, some other holiday or something like that. But many times because of this whole holiday expectation effect, people will say, okay, well, now is the time to go over the top and get the gift because, you know, it's Christmas, they're going to, you know, see that I got the gift, it's gonna melt their heart, they're gonna say, oh, I love you so much, this is such a thoughtful gift, we'll get back together. You may be having this thought, maybe it's not an overt conscious thought that you're having, but maybe it's just in the back of your head, but it could be going on. And we wanna be careful about this because, again, the same rules apply. So should you be getting your ex a gift? I would not recommend that you do it if it's going to come with strings attached if it's going to be some sort of covert contract where it's like, oh, hey, I got you this gift. Look, it was such a great gift. Now you owe me, you, either your ex or you, you know, the universe, God, some higher power, you owe me by allowing this person to come back into my life, by allowing them to change their opinion of me. When you have these covert contracts and strings attached, it's really a setup for frustration especially if the emotional connection isn't there to support what it is that you're, you're thinking of doing. So again, like if you and your ex are on great terms and you're connecting really well and you're like almost back together, sure, maybe it makes sense to get a gift. But if you uh, aren't talking to them and they're still upset with you about something that happened before, during, or after the breakup, the gift is probably not going to be the best opening move to restore contact, let's put it that way. It really depends on a lot of things, but just make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. Like if you are pure of heart, let's say, <laughs> and you um, are, are just wanting to get this gift because, you know, it's an expression of how you feel, it's an expression of some genuine affection or something like that that you have towards them, and you have no expectation for them to, you know, respond to you or reciprocate in some way, then okay, fine. Maybe it makes sense to give them a gift. But again, if there are strings attached, I would really caution against that, okay? Let's see, next thing we wanna talk about is uh, the idea of a Christmas miracle. There are lots of TV shows and movies and all sorts of things that say, hey, you know, this is the time of year for miracles. This is the time when, uh, you know, love 
conquers all and all that sort of stuff. Can it happen? Will you get some sort of Christmas miracle? Will your ex admit that they were wrong, that the spirit of the season has overcome them and they want to get back together with you? Maybe, perhaps, it could happen. But is it going to happen? I wouldn't, I wouldn't bank on it. I wouldn't count it as a given. What I'd rather you do is that you work to become your own miracle. That's to say you put in the time, you put in the effort to focus on the emotional connection, to focus on your way of being, to focus on communication, to focus on all of these other things that we've talked about in so many other videos. You use that to really set yourself up for success. But you know, basically you want to prepare so that you can take advantage of whatever opportunities might come your way. You don't just want to take the passive route and just say, okay, it's Christmas, I'm gonna let, you know, the Christmas miracle do its thing. I'm just gonna let the spirit of the season do its thing. You know, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna miss me. They're gonna say, hey, I've been really hard on you. I'm gonna come around and uh, give you a second chance. We don't wanna do that by itself. We want to put in the effort to make that more likely to happen, sure, by you know working on our way of being, practicing the advanced relational skills, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely do that. And walk through the open doors when they show up. You know, if, if you happen to accidentally run into your ex at the store or at some sort of uh, festival or something like that, yeah, sure, go ahead, walk through that open door, but don't just take the passive route on this. Put in the time to do all the things that we've talked about in so many of these videos over the years. If you want a Christmas miracle, you have to be your own miracle. You have to put in the work yourself to prepare accordingly and to be prepared for opportunities if and when they do present themselves. And that brings us on to um, the next thing that we want to talk about. You do get some, some good positive stuff going on here where it's like, okay, um, now we are, you know, we're getting closer, we're, we're connecting more. You know, maybe, maybe, the, maybe the spirit of the holidays is allowing the two of you to, to get closer. Um, I want you to be very careful because this is potentially a situation, a relationship that is sort of warming up because more of an idea, more of an ideal about what uh, the holidays could be. So this is kind of bordering on emotional unavailability here. You know, from our previous videos, emotional unavailability is basically um, a, a being in love with the idea of a relationship or um, being over your ex, having some sort of great love story, or in this case, you know, having a great warm, fuzzy holiday experience. Being more in love with that than you are with the actual person. Being more connected to that than you are with the actual person in front of you. So we want to be careful. We want to make sure that we're not trying to rush things here and that we are doing what we can do to build a genuine and authentic emotional connection uh, between us and our ex um, during, during these times if we are warming up towards one another. Same rules still apply, just we gotta not get pulled into the vortex of the holiday expectation effect. Next, if your ex is in a rebound relationship, I know a lot of people are uh, in this sort of situation where their ex is involved with a third party, um, a rebound relationship, something like that. If that is happening, then I want you to also be emotionally prepared for them to not break up with their rebound or their partner or this third party uh, during this time of year. Okay, again, the holiday expectation effect is in effect here and they are probably not going to break up with someone right before Christmas. Very few people want to be that person who dumps someone right before Christmas or during the holidays, okay? Most people, things will just shake out however they're gonna shake out. So, you know, yeah, maybe they're in a, a, a rebound relationship, maybe it's not going so great, but they're probably gonna be less likely to end things, um, you know, during this next month or so, just because of the holiday expectation effect. So emotionally prepare yourself for that. Just know that that it's gonna be okay. You know, I know that the holiday season is rough for a lot of people, whether it's Thanksgiving, whether it's Christmas, you know, it can be tough getting together with your family and having to explain why there's an empty seat next to you at the table. Um, you know, when it used to be that was your partner's seat or explaining, you know, why you're, why you're feeling down. But I want you to know that, that you're not alone. I want you to know that there's a lot of people out there who who don't have their life in order, whose life isn't perfect, and it's totally okay. 
just because maybe the relationship aspect of your life isn't where you want it to be, I don't want you to forget that there are other parts of life as well too. You know, maybe you have a great career. Maybe your job is going really well. You're healthy. You know, maybe you have a place to live. Maybe there's other great things that are happening in your life right now. And I don't want you to forget that uh, because many times people have what we would call missing tile syndrome. Uh, that is to say, you know, if you could imagine like a tile floor that's, you know, perfectly laid out except there's just one tile missing. Uh, we naturally have this tendency to focus in on the one tile that's missing and just tune out all of the other ones. You know, I get it. There could be parts of your life that aren't working out great right now. Maybe, maybe your relationship or something like that. Um, and you know, sure, do what you need to do to take care of that. Don't forget the rest of your life as well too. Don't forget that, that we are very fortunate in our lives for so many reasons. Um, you know, like number one, we obviously both you and I have access to the internet. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to upload this video. You wouldn't be able to watch it. And that's something that people could not even dream about even just a couple decades ago. Uh, you know, most of us probably have a place to live, shelter, you know, we can read. We live in a good place in the world where, where we have lots of things available to us, food, all that sort of stuff. We're hopefully living in a peaceful place. There's so many good things out there in the world, and I don't want you to forget that. Because as soon as you start focusing solely on lack, solely on what's missing, solely on what's not right in your life. That's when you start to get pulled into a bad energetic place. Your, your way of being starts to shift away from what you want and starts to focus in on what you don't want. So instead, remind yourself of what is working in your life. And just know that no matter what happens, we're gonna get through this, okay? We're gonna make it through this, we're gonna be okay. And if you wanna join me on this journey, you know, I'm more than happy to be your friend and partner through all of this. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified when we publish new videos. And um, also, please check out this video series over here where we have our previous videos on the whole holiday season. Anyway, take care, and I'll talk to you next time.